Hello there, and welcome to my new playthrough series, which is going to be of the original Sonic 3D Blast, or Sonic 3D Flicky's Island, if uh, you're playing the European version. I'm playing the Blast version, I think. Um, so let's get through the title sequence and uh, see what we can learn. Quick note on this option select screen. Um, I often have many questions about how Sonic looked in early builds of this game, um, especially his eyes. I think what happened was we originally rendered Sonic using the 3D model from the game and used that for the, I think it was the E3 build that had that particular image on it. And uh, because of the perspective and stuff like that, his eyes ended up looking a little bit strange. So for the final game, an artist went in and adjusted it by hand. So that's why uh, he looks a little strange, let's say, in early builds of this game. Interestingly in here, uh, in the sound test section, um, for some reason there's only 999 sound effects listed. Actually not 999, because it's a hexadecimal number, which means it has A, B, C, D, E, F, and then goes on to the next one. But for some reason, I'd only used 99 as the final number. And I could have gone on using more letters, A, B, C, things like that. Um, so it doesn't actually play every single sound effect in the game. The 3D Blast Director's Cut, I rectified that, one of many things. And I'll probably be referring to the 3D Blast Director's Cut from time to time during this playthrough. OK, let's see what we can find out. Okay, this intro sequence features my probably my favourite tune uh, from the whole game, from the amazing soundtrack, um, which is also, I think, used in Gene Gadget 1 or 2. I'm not sure which one we ended up with. But um, I love this tune, the way it builds and everything else. Classic sound effects. Okay, go Sonic. Let's play. So as I said, this is the original version, not the director's cut version that I uh, recently released. Um, and I can't purport to be any good at this, but we'll see how we get on. If anyone watched my Mickey Mania playthrough, they'll have an idea of my video game skill set. But uh, let's see what we can do with this one. See if I can do any better. Hopefully, I'll be able to play it a little better because I spent a bit of time playing it to do the director's cut recently. So hopefully that stands me in good stead. We shall see. Um, I'm not going to pretend to know where all the secrets are in this game, but uh, I know this one for sure. And people may say, well, why do you not know where all the secrets are? You coded the game. And I'll say, well, that was over 20 years ago. Okay, so we found Knuckles. These uh, special stage sections were actually programmed by, uh, I designed them, but were programmed by a different programmer, as to the rest of the game was by, all coded by me. So it was a different programmer. So I've always uh, found these stages more difficult to play, but hopefully I'll be able to get through at least the first couple and get some KSM mods going. If you want to know how this section was coded, I have done a coding sequence on this uh, specifically. So if I remember, I'll put a link here, but otherwise you can find it on the Game Hut channel. Okay, how are we doing? Oh yeah, excellent. I don't remember to this day why I made the Chaos Emerald flash on that screen. Maybe it was something that all the other Sonic games do. Or maybe it was something Sega asked me to do. Or maybe I thought it would be cool. I wouldn't do it nowadays. I think it's too distracting. Or maybe make it flash if you haven't got it or something like that. Right. Oh, brilliant. I was going to say, homing shield makes things easier. And it does if you don't immediately die. Oh, here we go. Oh, I'm getting too 
One of the things I did <laughs> on the Director's Cut was I made the hitboxes when you are attacking a creature when you are moving downwards. So as you head towards them, I made the hitboxes bigger so it was easier to kill them. For precisely that reason, in 3D it's so difficult to judge depth. I'm just going to stand up here because it's a fun little thing. Right, one to go, where is he? Uh -huh. And these are especially difficult because to approach them you tend to stand on these diagonals and then when you jump it pushes you in a different direction to a normal jump. So they're inadvertently even harder to get these guys. They're actually some of the hardest creatures to kill in the whole game and they're on the first level. Again, something I made a little simpler on the Director's Cup by removing the spike ball that orbits them on this first level. Some safety rings. Yikes. Having played the director's cut so much recently, I do miss the changes that I made to it. Okay, so here I need more flickies to get that. I'll see if I remember when I come back up. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. That's all it is. Ah, okay. Maybe necessary. I have not got many rings at all, so I don't think I'm going to bother go find Tails. Tails is down the, uh, the side of the, uh, the level. Oh, well, no. Let's just go. Just remember that last minute to get this. <laughs> there we go. That was very close. I could almost hear you screaming at me as I approached the end there. Hey, so, hey, I didn't lose a life, so that's something at least. Okay, level two. A little bit longer. I made another video about how Sonic's animations during the game are compressed and how they decompressed every every frame as we play. So if you're interested in that, again, if I remember, I'll stick a link here. Or uh, again, go look it up on the channel. If I've forgotten. Oh yeah, the invincibility. Forgot about that. Let's use it to my advantage. Got that one already? Where is it? Just in time. Now, if I had a flicky radar, there he is. Kind of safety shield. All right, one more fellow, where is he? Uh -huh. There we go. Did I, was there, there was. So over here, did I do that one? That was just TV, was it? Also, I increased the collision size with the ring on the Director's Cut version as well, for that very reason you just saw. Okay, let's... I think down here... I can avoid this. Yep, we have Knuckles. We'll do another Chaos Emerald. Or try. Attempt is the best word to use whenever I'm playing this game. Ooh. 
again the director's cut I made some changes to these sections too I made it so when you died you lost twice as many rings just a quick way to try and make it a little harder as some people say these sections are far too easy and then um, different palettes to more closely match the zones that you are playing from so here we've got kind of lava and green hills which didn't really on well, the lava especially didn't make a lot of sense with the, the zone we're currently in Okay, right then. Ah. Hmm. Now the astute among you may notice that I have not actually lost a life. That is because I made the game. And so I am perfectly at liberty to go and change the way the lives are calculated and did so to make sure I don't actually lose any when I die. So this is a slightly modified version of the final game with that one small change. Due to my lack of confidence in my ability to play, which I think is shared by all of you watching this, it will be very interesting if I, if and when I do a director's playthrough of Sonic 3D DX, director's cut, whether I actually do better. I would hope so. Now then, let me just see if I can grab a few more rings. Down here. It's hopefully enough. Because there's a little secret bit up here. If I can line myself up. There you go. Hopefully there's some rings in here. Shield, yep, a few rings. Okay. Let's grab that. Is there a life or something? Yes, there is. There you go. That'll pay for the one I just lost. Okay. Need to remember I've got this homing shot. I just gotta make it easier somewhere around here. Okay. So I found the easiest way of finding all the creatures is to follow the wall around. Did I get them? I must have got them already. And that should take you to all the different areas. Now I know up here, I think there's another secret area. And I'm going to see if I can get, while I've got the homing shield. Okay, that solved that problem. secret area. Ah. Right, see how hard these bonus sections are getting now. Mm. Okay. One of the problems with this is Sonic's jump isn't proportional in this section. He always jumps the same height when you tap the jump button. I'd love to be able to do a little jump over these mines so I could land quicker and get the rings before I miss them. But you can't, no matter how hard you ta tap, oh, sorry, how gently you tap or how hard you, how long you hold the button down, pretty sure you always do the same way, jump. Okay. There we go, excellent. Okay, how are we doing? One more little flicky creature to find. Badnik, I think is the term. One more badnik to find. Oh, I heard that noise. And apparently that noise we just heard there when I lost a flicky is used in that new Sonic cartoon they just released. The little two minute Sonic Adventures short they did. So um, that's an interesting nod to this game. Appreciate it. Right. One more creature. Where is he? 
What am I missing? If only I could hear you screaming at the console. Right, something gonna pop. I'm just, mm, must have got in already. Ah, there he is. Okay, fella. No, no. Oh, man, I saw that coming the whole time. Come on. There we go. There is actually a bug with these little uh, transport tubes, which I could never fix. Really hard to create. I never managed to fix it. But when he goes in the hole, I have to draw, I have to change the priority of the sprite. You see here he stood in front of these uh, red and brown tiles. Well, when he goes into the tube, I have to change the priority of those tiles as he goes down the tube to hide him going behind them. So I have to write that data in real time. And sometimes one line of it doesn't work. Really hard to recreate. I found it in the final build. It's very frustrating. I could never fix it. I couldn't fix it for the director's cut either because I couldn't recreate it successfully enough. But anyway, if you see that ever, that Sonic runs behind a piece of wrong priority terrain, that's, uh, and if you find a way of recreating it, I'll patch the director's cut. Um, most probably, if I can recreate it and fix it. Because it's so frustrating. Okay. Splashy, splashy, the puddles. Okay. This fella. Just about. One more to go. I know I've not found all the secrets, like with knuckles and all that kind of stuff, but um, I'm just trying to, uh, I'll try and get all the emeralds if I can before the end of the game, but I'm not trying to find all the secrets. Okay. comes. So this is a pretty simple boss. As long as you keep moving that ball won't ever reach you. And then you just have to be at the same. I mean the best thing to do is have it land on the flat ground because then you can just jump at Robotnik. Easier. I'm gonna get some rings. Because <laughs> every time I say it's really easy, I go and get killed. Okay. Hopefully, just a couple more hits and we'll be done. So he disappears and it fades out before he does and there you go that's the first uh, three acts of Sonic 3D we'll have a go at Rusty Ruin next time but I hope you enjoyed this let me know in the comments if you want to see more of this kind of playthrough and I'll see you next time bye bye